Thank you for joining me on this Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Thank you for building this weather community. It is for you. Uh, thank you for sharing the channel with others to build it. I see those comments. I appreciate those very much. Uh, let's get right to the weather. Not to waste your time out here, Pacific side. That could become a hurricane. I'm going to dive into that. We've got the old front, Cuba, even parts of uh, Belize and Mexico, swinging back to the Bahamas. I'll get into that over by the Cayman Islands, Costa Rica, and Panama. That blob of rain and storms with the tropical waves sliding in. And as I mentioned, doesn't need to be an organized system to give us flooding. And we've been seeing uh, that, at least the potential of that back through Panama and moving into Costa Rica. So we're going to dive into that further as well. Eastern Caribbean, not a lot. Scattered showers and storms. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, you may see that. Colombia, Venezuela, Trinidad and Tobago, of course, still on the hot side. But we'll see the rain chance picking up soon with a new tropical wave that's about to move in. I'll get into that as well. And then to the north, here's that old front extra clouds from Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Cuba, back through the Bahamas. And I'm going to keep an eye on that area in the Bahamas for that chance of some development. So let's get over here. This is the Pacific side. You see this flare up here. This is what could become our next hurricane and kind of swing on the Pacific side and eventually even bring some rain up to Texas. We'll get into that with the uh, computer model. First thing is first, the forecast. I mentioned this tropical wave sliding in. So you see ahead of it, not as much in the way of wet weather. It needs to pass through to give you that better chance of rain. So Belize with the old front kind of to the north, a 40% chance of storms, but Panama, Costa Rica, upwards of an 80% chance of wet weather, over 50 millimeters of rain. That can lead to some localized flooding, scattered passing showers and storms, Cayman Islands and Jamaica, even over toward Honduras. Then we get out here. Now, this is ahead of our next tropical wave. So anywhere from Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, ABC Islands, Puerto Rico, British Virgin Islands, St. Kitts and Nevis, Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, Guadeloupe, passing showers and storms, isolated areas of rain down through Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, more in the way of a 30% chance. But once this wave passes by, by the weekend, that rain chance will be more like 50 to 60% chance. So waiting on that tropical wave to give us that better chance of rain, but not seeing that becoming an organized system. So Puerto Rico, for example, ahead of that tropical wave, passing showers and storms the next two days that 30% chance. Temperatures around 85 degrees Fahrenheit, 29 degrees uh, Celsius. But once that next tropical wave moves in, as I mentioned by the weekend, that rain chance more like 60% over toward the Virgin Islands and uh, Puerto Rico. So we'll monitor that. All right, let's get a look at the rain. Now, this is later today. This is 5 p.m. today. Here's your time frame, And you see the extra rain even over toward Panama. Uh, but Mexico back through Belize, this is with the front through the Bahamas. Then you get through Panama and Colombia, uh, Costa Rica, some extra extra rain. There, this is with a tropical wave that will be sliding by, even those spotty showers and storms. Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, over toward Guatemala and El Salvador. Cayman Islands, scattered rain and storms will be possible. Tropical wave moves into Belize. This is by the time we have four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So in this sector, rain and storms and watching the old front, up toward the Bahamas, uh, you can see a little cluster of rain and storms. Then that higher chance that we saw in Panama today, that we're seeing in Panama, kind of spreading elsewhere. And then we'll see hit or miss variety out in the Eastern Caribbean. Still waiting on that next tropical wave. Same thing, spotty showers and storms tomorrow as we get over toward uh, the ABC Islands, Trinidad and Tobago, and Venezuela. But as we get deeper into the forecast, by the time we get into Friday, look at that rain approaching Trinidad and Tobago. We're going to see the higher chance of rain that next tropical wave starts to move in. So we're going to see that rain chance increasing in the Eastern Caribbean, still dealing with the scattered showers and storms, the Bahamas, back through Cuba, Cayman Islands, Mexico, Honduras. You see the scattering of rain and storms around and still Costa Rica and Panama, more localized flooding is going to be a possibility. So we'll monitor that, but that next batch of rain and storms will be starting to work in this weekend into the Caribbean. All right, high chance of development here. Here's Mexico. This is that blob that I was showing you. It does look like it will be developing some, so just kind of a wait and see on how it gets organized. Almost all of the models taking this to the uh, west and then swinging it, hooking it back in. Still hard to tell where it moves back in, but it does look like whatever it develops will eventually move back into Mexico and then 
even though once it hits land, whatever it is, tropical storm or hurricane, uh, it'll bring, of course, that flood potential, whatever it is, uh, will eventually weaken. And then it could eventually spread some rain into Texas down the road. So that's what we're going to be uh, watching out for. Let's get a look at one of the computer models and you can see it here. This is that blob of rain. Just watching over the next couple of days to see how it develops. This is by the time we get into Friday. It could be a tropical depression at this point. There's Texas, by the way, and again, throughout Mexico. By the time we get into the weekend, though, uh, Saturday and Sunday, you see this flaring up, and then early next week, becoming a tropical storm, if not a hurricane, and then kind of swinging its way up to the north, a better organized system, unfortunately. I don't like using the word better because it's, it's worse for us, but watching out for that chance of rain. Looks like it'll stay to the east of the Baja of California, kind of sliding up here. But again, where it goes inland, still too early to tell, but this is a potential, and then it will bring in the flooding, and and then eventually even that potential of some rain over toward uh, the southern side, south side of uh, Texas. So again, lots to cover there. Now this is October. Uh, I want to get back into the Atlantic Basin. Uh, I was mentioning how I'm watching over toward the Bahamas for tropical development because that's with old fronts. You see this green shading here? This is where we typically get tropical development this time of year. Not so much anymore out toward the coast of Africa. That season starts to shut off. The patterns change this time of year. So we watch the old fronts to see if anything spins up. If anything does at all, I will keep you posted. Be safe with some of the flooding. I'll watch out on the Pacific side of things. Again, thank you for being part of this weather community, and I hope you have a good day ahead.